A rabies alert for Central Texas. We've seen a record-breaking number of cases this spring. Burnett County has found 19 rabbit animals so far, mostly skunks and raccoons, and the numbers are even higher closer to Austin. But only what 6KXA's Jacqueline Inglace has found out, it's all connected to the weather. Kind of got near my kiddo's playscape. Courtney Stanley is convinced Burnett's 20th rabies case could be the raccoon lurking in her backyard. I'm kind of paranoid to go back there. Um, was the last place that I saw it. This former science teacher says the raccoon was wobbly and his eyes were glassy. Her kids and dog play right where the raccoon was roaming. I'm a bit worried because I have a four-year-old and he's curious and he loves animals. Parents like Courtney have good reason to worry. Rabies cases are spiking in Central Texas. So far this year, Williamson County has 48 confirmed cases. Travis County is reporting 25. Burnett, 19, up from nine last year, and eight cases in Llano. It's not the norm for us. Burnett's animal control officer is constantly heading out to calls. She's even passing out warning flyers at area schools. These flyers explain the dangers of rabies on a level that kids can understand. And although they're put up every year in schools around Burnett, Wilson says that kids need to pay extra attention to them this year. Rabies is 100% fatal. The reasons behind the spike? More skunks and raccoons combined with dry conditions. These photos from a KXAN viewer show why. With the ongoing drought, animals are getting water wherever they can, often sharing the same watering holes. Not good when rabies is spread through saliva. It is fearful for people, you know, because in Burnett County, I mean, we have lakes. Until the raccoon is caught, Stanley is keeping her kids indoors and walking her dog on a leash. In Burnett, Jacqueline Inglace, KXAN, Austin News. Animals that have rabies usually have difficulty swallowing, an increase in drool and saliva, and may have a hard time walking. Anyone who encounters an aggressive animal is urged to call 911. To find out more about symptoms and numbers to call the animal control, call this, uh, you can uh, check out our website, rather, at kxan.com. Yeah.